Hi, yo, folks. This is Max from uh, DroidBionicRoot.com. So today we're gonna learn to um, root our phone that has the latest. Uh, let's see, settings about phone um, five point five point eight nine three. If you're not there, if you're on a previous version, uh, make sure you click the system updates to update it to that or later. It should work on the future versions too. Uh, until ICS is here. Uh, and also go to settings and under applications make sure development under development USB debugging is checked on and then uh, under USB connection make sure it's set to charge only um, this method is for Windows um, if you have an older method or older version you can also follow my older guide uh, which I have links of but you can just update it and use this method too it doesn't matter either or um, this method is nearly identical to the method used for Droid Razor, um, so it works. And connect it to micro USB, and then go to your computer, and go download this file called Droid Bionic Root U dot zip, um, and unzip it. You'll get this uh, folder called Files, and also runme dot bat. Also, make sure you have drivers installed. I have uh, I'll have driver links for Windows 32 bit and 64 bit. And when you install that, um, under Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, um, Device Manager. For XP, Device Manager should just be under Control Panel. Um, you should find a device, Moto Composite ADB device. Um, if, you if you see that, you're good to go. And then we're just going to run the runme.bat. Alright. And then just run this. And uh, basically in about 20 seconds, your phone should be rebooted. Root it, um, BusyBox installed, and it should reboot, and you should have full um, root on your Droid Bionic. Um, so, with the latest OTA update. Um, so, it's going. If you get some kind of error here, that means your drivers are not installed. So, double check that um, control panel device manager. I'll have a, a script for Windows or Linux and Mac also um, for those of you who are on Mac and Linux. I'm um, just going to convert the script to Mac and Linux and it's all good to go. Um, so, that's what it looks like. It's going to basically it's sending in a bunch of zerglings like StarCraft. Um, and then you should mm -hmm. get Rush did it, it's a GG mm -hmm. man, and then it'll reboot, or not reboot yet, then install all his super user files and stuff and then reboot. And after mm -hmm. it reboots, I'll be right back, and it's pretty much um, done rooting. So it's rebooting, and I'll show you uh, my puppy real quick while it's rebooting. I sleep, <laughs> what I'm, what's happening now. I have a new puppy. Like this is what's what's going on while I'm making videos. Pretty cool. <laughs> She's sleeping. Okay, okay, let's go back to the phone real quick here. Oh yeah. That's my new Android dog. Android dog. Yeah. Um, let's go, go check it out. Um, so under application, you should have super user. Um, run that, and also you can verify by hitting the menu button. And then the preferences button. Um, I don't know where that came from. Um, SU binary update. And then I'll... Uh, update and hit allow. There you go. So when you get that, that means you've um, your Droid Bionic has been completely. Um, you can also update the SU file. It, it doesn't. You can do it again. You know, it's kind of fun. But this means your phone has been rooted. Um, the next step, you'll want to uninstall the Bio Bionic Bootstrap and install the um, Safe Strap instead, which is what I recommend before. It's all on my site. Um, check it out. Anyway, that was how to root on the latest uh, OTA 893. 893. Root it. All right. See y'all later.
Bye-bye. Subscribe.